From deep in the heart of the San Fernando Valley, it's Hanging with Dr. Z. Tonight, Steven Weber with Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels. This monkey means business. The doctor will see you now. Hello. Hey, wow. Okay, thank you very much. Good evening, welcome to the show. You're watching Hanging with Dr. Z and I'm Dr. Z. Thank you very much. We have Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels over there. How are you, Rusty? Did you get a good night's sleep? I finally did get a good night's sleep. I tried a new technique, which really worked for me. And what's that? Uh, weeping. <laughs> did you know that dog heaven and cat hell are the same thing? It's true. <laughs> now my dog, my dog is adopted, and like anyone who has adopted a dog, there's always that fear that one day the birth parents will come scratching at the door. There used to be an expression called work like a dog. And, and that dates back to a time, apparently, when men used to get up early and then lie around all day licking their balls. Good work if you can get it. We've got a great show. Steven Weber is with us tonight from Wings and Shining. He's going to be talented man. And uh, Patrick Stewart and Gavin McLeod are going to wrestle for the throne. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Rusty Steel and the Steel Wheels are going to play us off. It's Klinger Creations, the only Jamie Farr inspired salad dressing now in the handy pump bottle. Try all three Max Klinger inspired flavors. Why, there's garlic perspiration, breath of Toledo, and of course, nose onion. Klinger Creations, from the kitchens at Buxley Chemical Industries. Stop going to the uppity. Oh, rusty steel and the steel wheels. How are you, sir? I'm very good. Our first guest tonight, good, good gravy. He is a... He is as much a television fixture as antiperspirant commercials. Stephen Weber. Hey, Doc. How are you, man? How are you? Good. How, when was the last time I saw that face? Uh, probably uh, I was uh, recently in a series with uh, Fran Drescher and Adam Pally and Abby Elliott. That's right. And, and, uh, and you and I last saw each other. I'm going to blow your mind. Go ahead. Uh, jet skiing with Bob Goulet. <laughs> Hilarious. That's and it was right. the day... The tiger took down Roy. Oh, uh, that was a that was a both a grim and hilarious day. It couldn't it be great. better put. Yeah, yep. Thank you. Stuck his head in a tiger's mouth. Who'd have thought there'd be a mishap? I want to ask you a question. You uh, you were in uh, the Sh the Shining miniseries, right? Uh, uh, which is very different from the the, the film. Yeah. Did you have that feeling? Because Jack Nicholson played Jack Torrance. Right. And then you're looking at the same role. Do you think, is this, is this, how do you, you know, are you going to walk in? Are you, you know what I'm saying. I don't really know what you're saying, but I'll just answer anyway. Did you have any trepidation? Well, look, I mean, I, we were doing a, a, a version that was faithful to the book. And I think Stephen King wanted something that was more faithful to the book. It's still acknowledging the greatness of the Kubrick film itself. But, um, you know, it wasn't about monsters per se. Do you know, here's a, here's a fun fact about Stephen King not a lot of people know. Mm. He's from Maine. I think a lot of people know that he's from Maine. Yeah, he's that's true. From no, Maine. try take my word for it. Okay. Or look it up. Don't take my word for it. He's from Maine. Yeah. Uh, a couple other quick questions. Uh, Tim Daly, yes or no? Uh, yeah, he's the handsomest man in North America. So. That's a Hollywood no, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> right. Yes is no. And he's related to Tyne Daly. He is. They're a brother and sister. And she was in a little movie called The Enforcer with Dirty Harry. Yeah, that's right, Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry and some Clint Eastwood. That's right, yeah. Who, who taught American, who taught men how to be men. Has he done this show? Clint has not done the show yet, but I'm going to get him as soon as he wraps up this season of Tales of the Crypt. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Here's my fear about Clint Eastwood. <laughs> what if he just doesn't die? Oh. I don't wish any ill on the man at all. But at a certain point, he just, like, what if you're, you read these new, you know, you know, Stephen. Yeah. You read these newspaper stories 
about a guy who's like, he's in Pakistan, he's 114 years old. Yeah. I mean, when you're that old and you wake up in the morning, is it just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's right. Another day? You know, maybe they think that they're a sleeve of saltines by that point. Like, there's, a, there's no moisture left. A sleeve of saltines. Uh, See, that's why, that's why, that's, please don't ever die, Stephen, because uh, that's why we need you. You throw out, you toss out a sleeve of saltines like it's nothing. And I say, it's something. It is something. It is something. It is something. Uh, a, a, a strangest celebrity encounter. Like, not, here's the deal. Not in show business. Like, like I'll tell you mine. Uh, Beverly Hills Hotel, I met uh, B. Arthur at a urinal. Was it the trough or was it wall urinal? No, it was wall urinals. Okay. The, there she was. All right, good. Not and the, I, not turned my, I turned to my le- right yeah. and there was no, nobody I knew. I turned to my left and then there's Maude. And then there's Maude. <laughs> That's right. God will get you for that. God will get you. So um, I actually did see Martin Landau uh, in a, a Ralph's supermarket in Los Angeles. They have a chain called Ralph's. And it was uh, Christmas Eve. And for some reason, in this Ralph's, they happened to have a tie rack. And I was standing on line w- waiting to check out, I don't know, beer or something like that. No. And I look, and there comes Martin Landau, you know, with his stunning hairpiece. Yeah. Looking for a tie. I love it. And uh, there he lo- was. And I, I was like, anybody see? No, nobody? Nobody? Okay. Martin Landau, that was it. Oh, uh, yeah. And, that, and God, God bless him. Buying ties at Ralph's on Christmas Eve. Sometimes you got to. Uh, well, such, a, such, a ga- su- such a gas to see. Uh-huh. Normally I see you, it's like I go over to, I, go to, I drive up to Malibu, I walk into a, I walk into a cookout. And there you are in the corner chatting up Tracy Scoggins oh. or some other starlet. <laughs> right. But right. but uh, this is this is better and, and this is great. But on your on your journey through the stars, yeah. orbit, orbit hanging with Dr. Z more often. Thank you so much. Uh, you've done the, the Lord's work. This man, this this man is what it's all about. Stephen Weber, when when God, when God. When God put the pepper mill of talent on this guy, he did not stop grinding. Tomorrow night from Boston, Cardinal Cushing and musicians Blue Oyster Cult. Uh, We'll see you then. Rusty, play us off.